Hello Trading is closed on May the 18th, 2020. Go over a call. Look for the pattern with the early high. This is it. Tomorrow has a early low. We said we had a weak rally into resistance. And if we gapped down smartly, we can make the case for a big drop. We didn't gap down sharply, obviously. And even if I didn't say it, gapping sharply in the undesired direction kills the call before the open. Here's what I said. It's often reversed. And if we gap down, the door is open. But that never happened. During the day, MJT gave buy signals here, and they've already played out. We had this wall into the close. Often that's met by gapping up the next day, and that would continue the rally. But if we don't gap up, and if we take the high, we have an all-day rally, which closed under all these highs. Whether or not we close higher tomorrow, that's negative and should lead to lower prices. So we need to take this high out earlier, else lower prices print. Well, here was the pattern we had. We came up to resistance. We said all we had to do was undercut that low, but that never happened. The market typically gives volume spikes in the E-mini contracted lows. That was a low, all right, but how much higher we have to go when you're up against the upper Bollinger Band? I don't know. All we need to do is take this high out early and avoid a big drop. I think the rally's not over. It's really pretty tough for me to count this here. I'm assuming this is A or B, and that's B, and now we're in wave C, which should take us higher, but it's not the only way to count it. I don't think this is as, um, forced, as, as unforced as I would like, but it breaks no rules. And I'm not predicting a big drop here, but if there is a big drop tomorrow, you can count this as an ending diagonal triangle and make it fit. That's uh, not my favorite count, but if there is a big drop, that's how I'd explain it. In short, the long-term picture for me is a bit muddled, but since I do things only at the, since I make calls only one day in advance, let's do that. Tomorrow's pattern has a really low. Doesn't mean you won't gap up. Wall into the close. Wall down is bullish, usually followed by gapping up. Rally all day, but can't, you can't hold on. The intraday highs, that's negative unless we overtake the highs promptly tomorrow. We use the rules for mixed signals. Here they are. Common this thing is a gap and prompt move outside the day's range. Frankly, I can explain the move in either direction here after the fact. So I'm just going to wait to see how we open. And that's today's call.